In this video, we are going to solve the 18th question from HackerRank SQL preparation. So the problem statement says consider a point P1, A, B and P2, C, D to be a two points on a 2D plane. So these are the two points on a 2D plane with positions A, B and C, D where A is the minimum value of northern latitude, B is the minimum value of western longitude, C is the maximum value of northern latitude and D is the maximum value of western longitude. What you have to do is find the Manhattan distance between these two points rounded to four decimal places. So what is the Manhattan distance? So according to the definition, it is the distance between two points measured along axis at a right angle. So basically if a point P1 has positions X1 and Y1 and P2 has X2 and Y2, then the Manhattan distance will be the absolute value of X1 minus X2 plus the absolute value of y1 minus y2. So use this formula and try to solve this equation. So you can pause this video, try to solve it by yourself. After that, we will do it together. I believe you must have solved the question, but if you have not solved it yet, we can do it together. So I will use select. Now I want to find the rounded values of two up to four decimal places. So round. What I need to do is find the absolute value of A minus C plus B minus D. So I will use absolute. A is the minima of northern latitude. So min of latitude N minus max of latitude N. Now I will add this value with the absolute value of maxima of long w minus minima of long w. In the end, I want it to be rounded to four decimal places. So four from station. Now let's run this code. As you can see, we have passed the test case. So what basically I have done is the minima of let n and maxima of let n. These are the values a and c. The maxima of long w and the minima of long w. These are the values b and d. So I have find the absolute value of this and the absolute value of this according to this formula, right? And what I have done, I have rounded them to four decimal places. So now I will submit my code. As we have successfully submitted the code, we will move to the next question.